Hey guys, this is Rowdy too. Um, he is an eight year old unregistered uh, standard bred gilding. Um, he stands 15 hands tall on a flat keg shoe, nothing special, nothing fancy, just a little old keg. Like you got a tractor supply, a lot of people don't understand what that is, but that's just nothing, nothing special, guys. He'll ride the same bar filter with a little old shoe. Um, guys, this horse, uh, I'm trying to tell you a little story about him here. He, uh, I, I've had this horse twice, the second time I've had him. Um, it's been two or three years since I've had him. Um, I can't remember, the, I cannot remember for the life of me who brought this horse in this country. Um, I know he come out of uh, like Colburn, Virginia area, um, somewhere as in there. I remember him really well. Um, and I had him, I had him then. He was, uh, he was really uh, a really nice racking horse set up and bridle. I mean, rack on done pretty good. He wasn't. Re he's never been real fast. Uh, neither time I've had him, um, but you know, he's always been super smooth. He will not swap over to a pace. He never gets pacey. Um, if if anything, what he does, if you get him up real fast, you know, a horse is going to do something. They'll break at one point. He'll just he'll break. He'll break over to start canter, and he, he's got a good canter to him. Um, he's been taught to canter, so you know that's what he does. If you get him up too fast, but he'll never. He'll never uh, pace or anything like that with you. So he's a he's a true four bit uh, four bit gutted horse. Um, so when I had him three years ago, he was really 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 nice, and um, they some people brought him in here, and he was they, they told me he was a direct rowdy gilding and out of a standard bred mare. Uh, I cannot prove that he don't have any kind of paperwork. I don't know. Um, I've had a lot of horses come in here. Every buckskin, uh, not gonna say all of them, but. A lot of buckskins have come through here from Virginia. They they claim they're out of Rowdy Rawhide, so I don't know. Um, a lot of them hasn't been. I don't know. I don't know his breeding. Um, I'm just telling you that's what I was told. Uh, that was three years ago, and I couldn't tell you. I couldn't remember who in the world that guy was. He brought him in here. It's been that long. I don't know. Um, I sold him to some people, uh, good friends of mine, uh, up around Lexington, Kentucky, and they're thoroughbred people, and they, they've been using this horse on, on jumping and things like that with him. Uh, so he's got a, a really wide variety of uh, things they've done with him. Um, they're not gated people, so but they've been riding him and enjoying him for the last three years or two or three years, whatever it's been, um, and decided to sell him. So he's back. Um, he uh, he had a real good lope, almost too good uh, down low when I got him back the second time because, like I said, they li they loped him a lot. Um, so I've been working on his gait, you know, getting him back and more consistent. I've been I spent thirty days on him. Uh, taking you through my course, and he'll come over to mountain block, you snap your fingers, and he'll walk on loose rein and all that stuff. But guys, this horse is really forward. Uh, he really likes his job. He likes to go. He's not for uh, a, a beginner. Um, you know, he's he's more for somebody, at least an intermediate uh, or advanced rider, just because he's got a lot of heart, a lot of go to him. He ain't going to ride a buck or do nothing like that. This horse has got some go to him. Uh, really, really flashy, going pretty, pretty, pretty. Um, probably could could really set the track on fire if somebody wanted to really ride him out and push him for speed. As far as I know, he's never really been asked for a lot of speed. Like I said, he, he don't pace. So, you know, if, you, if speed racking is something you want to do with him, why he'd probably, you know, ride him like that and uh, just you know, start asking for speed and you'll probably get a, you know, probably might see a whole nother world of this horse. But anyway, he's got a real nice slow rack to him. When I'm saying slow, I'm talking 12, 14 mile an hour, set up there in a bridle and do it easy. Um, just, you know, he's a, he's a, he's a lot of horse guys. He ain't for the timid by no means, but he's a nice son of a gun, but here he is.